Hello friends, this video on chemistry in everyday life part 6 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. The next type as I told was therapeutic actions of drugs. That is totally based on what is the output, right? So in this whole uh, series, we'll talk about antacids, we'll talk about antihistamines, we'll talk about neurologically active drugs in that we'll talk about tranquilizers, analgesics. We'll also talk about antimicrobials and chemical ones. We will talk about antibiotics, antiseptics and disinfectants. We'll also talk about anti-fertility anti drugs. We'll talk about antipyretics drugs and we'll talk about anti-malarial drugs. We'll talk about these kind of drugs based on the therapeutic action. If you see the name itself, anti-acids, remove the acid, right? Anti-malaria, to remove malaria. Anti-pyretic, to remove fever. So these drugs are just based on the output of the drug, right? What is the total, what is the final action? We don't care about the inside action, which uh, enzymes it is binding, how it is binding, those kind of stuffs we don't care. It's more from a doctor perspective, right? So the first one is anti-acids. See, as the name suggests, anti-acids. Anti-acids is what? Anti-acid. Correct? Anti plus acid. That is opposite of acid. Sometimes what happens is the overproduction of in the stomach HCl and pepsin. Sometimes the stomach overproduce HCl and pepsin. So this causes pain, it causes irritation and sometimes it is very severe, it may cause ulcer, correct. So what is the problem statement? Stomach generally to digest the food, it creates hydrochloric acid and pepsin to digest the food. But sometimes the hydrochloric acid and the pepsin is too much in the stomach. It creates more and more hydrochloric acid and pepsin and that will cause you pain and irritation. It will also cause ulcer if severe. This scenario is called acidity in the stomach. It's called acidity in the stomach. You must have heard of this term acidity in the stomach. So to remove this, we need something which can take care of this acidity. Right? One option is you can use a base. So, in till 1970s, when not much treatment was there, the only treatment of this acidity was to use base. And they use NaHCO3, that is sodium hydrogen carbonate. So this sodium, sodium hydrogen carbonate actually, when it reacts with water in the body, it used to produce NaOH, water and carbon dioxide. And this NaOH is nothing but basic. So this basic, this base NaOH will react with HCl to form NaCl and water. Correct. So this will make the whole stomach basic and the patient will feel relief. But there is a problem to this. The problem is if you use more NaCO3 sometimes, right, this whole stomach becomes very much very basic. If the stomach becomes very basic and as I told the body is nothing but is a balance between all the chemicals, the body will produce more acids. See what happens is stomach becomes basic, stomach becomes basic, you get a temporary relief but again stomach produce more acid because Stomach has to be acidic, else the food digestion won't happen. Stomach produces more acid and in that case, the whole acidity becomes worse, right? The patient gets more pain. So the next solution was, instead of uh, NaSCO3, to use aluminum hydroxide and magnesium hydroxide. Mixture of these. 
correct so these are better they are better alternative why because they are insoluble they are insoluble in water and it won't increase the ph above neutrality at the max at the max it will make stomach neutral right it will not make more than neutral so with that it is a little better right but there is a problem with this the problem is this they are insoluble so they won't break down so they will be in the body itself it is not good to have so many insoluble compounds in the body undesirable correct so nothing is full proof now and it has to be controlled because this acidity if it is not controlled it can become ulcer and the patient may die also and sometimes the affected part of the stomach has to be removed so why to take all this headache let's find the root cause of the acidity why this acidity is happening because there has to be something we saw that in the body there are something called enzymes which creates stuffs right so there has to be some enzymes or something which is creating this hcl and pepsin let's try to control at that stage right so scientists started thank you visit examfear.com to watch more videos attempt free online tests get pre study materials find tutors and mentors and much more Thanks once again.